Hello, I'm Mr. Wilson and I'm going to go over the steps of adding and subtracting numbers for you today. So we have our step one. We have rewrite our problem vertically, lining up our decimal and place values. The number on the left goes on top, the number on the right goes on the bottom. Now this is very important for subtracting. Make sure that you're taking away the correct number, okay? Then step two, we have start with our smallest place value. So we start with our smallest place value, usually on the right, it's going to be the rightmost value. Start adding or subtracting from right to left. So we start from the right and then we go left, okay? And step three is add or subtract our numbers, regroup or borrow when necessary, all right? I have an example for you right here. And I have the steps for you. So our step one, it says rewrite our problem vertically. So we're gonna rewrite our numbers. So we got 13.56. And we're going to add to that 4.8. Now, we've got to make sure to line up our decimals, okay? So our decimals have to be lined up. So our 4 is going to go over here, and our 8 is going to go over here. Now, there's nothing in this place value, so we could put a 0 if we want to, okay? And then we're going to add them together, okay? It says starting with our smallest place value, so our smallest place value are these values right here, okay? We start from right to left. So six plus zero is six. Five plus eight is gonna be 13. So we're gonna do three, carry our one. One plus three plus four is gonna be eight. And then one plus nothing is one, okay? And then our decimal, we're just gonna bring our decimal down into our answer, okay? So our decimal goes right here. And if we were to estimate these, if we did 13 plus 4, we would get 17. And 18 is pretty close to 17, so we can be very confident in our answers. All right? And that's how we add and subtract uh, any number, even in decimals. Thank you so much.